hello student in this video we will discuss about the um, occurrence of metal and in this topic there are the three terminology which is very important to discuss them so first one is a mineral so mineral is the combine or or the free state of metal on the earth crust okay then second one is ore so what is ore so ore is the kind of mineral by which we can uh, extract the metal uh, profitably yes so if we get the metal uh, profitably from the minerals so th those are known as ore so from here we can say all or are the minerals but uh, all minerals are not ore yes and from here one of more thing uh, one more thing i want to tell you that is mostly the ore are present in the oxide form on the earth crust why is it so uh, because uh, mostly uh, you know uh, oxygen is present on the earth and it is reactive in nature so it react with the metal and form the metal oxide or some of the time metal sulfide and metal carbonate yes but it is not present in the form of nitride because nitrogen is inert at the atmospheric temperature and the pressure then student we'll discuss here about the gang so what is gang gang is the impurity present in ore yes then student our next topic of this video is extraction of the metal so how we can extract the metal from their ore so first process of the extraction is what uh, concentration of ore so in this process we'll get the ore uh, and uh, we can remove the gang uh, in the concentration process from this process the uh, ore will get that is known as concentrated ore now the concentrated ore will go under the specific process that is the extraction of metal so from this process will get the raw metal okay but as you know the metal have the different kind of the activity and reactivity because of that uh, we need to use different process to extract them so first one uh, the those metal which are low activity in the series so those are known like uh, mercury platinum and gold silver and this copper so this kind of the metal uh, can easily extract it from their or why because we only need to give heat them and we'll get the metal yes for example on your screen you can see the cinnabar that is a mercuric uh, sulfide so you need to heat with the oxygen okay so it will convert into the oxide form of the mercury and and the sulfur dioxide then uh, that oxide form of the mercury only require heat to uh, get mercury and the oxygen gas get separated then uh, the next example that about the uh, cupric sulfide similarly you need to give heat in the presence of oxygen so you will get the cupric oxide and the sulfur dioxide and from that cupric oxide only you need to give heat so that will convert into the copper and into the oxygen and then student uh, the second uh, the category that is the metal which are middle in a reactivity series or activity series so those are like like iron and the uh, zinc and all so these kind of the metal mostly found in the in the form of sulfide or and the carbonate or so because these are present in a different kind of the ore so that we need different kind of process to separate them so student for the sulfide or mostly we use the roasting process and for the carbonate or we use uh, calcination process yes here i am using uh, one example one one example for the roasting and the calcination so first one zinc sulfide so zinc sulfide is the sulfide ore so it require oxygen with heating yes to get uh, oxide form of the ore so you can see the zinc sulfide in the presence of oxygen it is reacting and get will get the zinc oxide and sulfur dioxide and similarly 
this carbonate or we need to require uh, heat them but uh, there is there should you ensure that the uh, there should be a limit of oxygen or absence of oxygen yes why is it so because uh, in the uh, carbonate or oxygen is already present yes so that uh, extra oxygen is not required to get oxide form so here zinc carbonate would, would convert on heating zinc oxide and the carbon dioxide yes so from from both process will get the oxide form of zinc so in the middle reactivity series after the getting uh, metal oxide form we require reducing agent this is the dissimilarity between uh, low react low activity series metal and the middle act activity series why because uh, low activity series metal does not require any kind of reducing agent but middle reactive or active metal series require the specific uh, reducing agent to get raw metal from their oxide form yes this is a very important you need to remember yes so then after getting the oxide form we require here carbon as a reducing agent and that uh, convert the zinc oxide into the zinc and carbon dioxide yes so that in this process we are getting uh, the zinc as a raw metal then some of the time if we don't have the reducing agent so we can use the highly reactive metal so that highly reactive metal can remove the uh, oxide from the metal or and will get the metal so here you can see the manganese oxide react from the aluminium and convert into convert into the aluminium oxide and the manganese but uh, in this reaction the heat is evolved so because of that metal is uh, is melt melt molten form yes then thermit reaction so this is the kind of the example of thermit reaction only so the thermit reaction is what the iron oxide uh, in the presence of aluminium convert into the aluminium oxide and the iron and iron uh, in this reaction will get as a mol molten state so because of that this reaction is used to join the railway track if railway track uh, get cracked down or the any machine part if that cracked down so we can use this reaction to join the machine part also yes then last uh, type of the metal uh, activity that is high activity metals so here you need to remember we cannot separate the high reactive metal uh, by the process of the heating why because if these kind of the metal convert into their oxide form so we we cannot reduce them by the heating process or by any kind of the reducing agent so that we required a specific process that is uh, electrolysis so through the electrolysis we can get the high uh, highly reactive metal uh, so how we need to separate them so first of all we need to take the salt uh, of the uh, highly reactive metal in the molten state in the jar and pass the electricity so what we will get at cathode uh, will get the metal so as we start the electricity in molten state of the salt so ion will be formed and the cation react with uh, and uh, gain the electron and form the metal so this is this process takes place at cathode so this is all about the uh, extraction of the metal thank you